Welcome to the Tuesday, January 13th, 2015 edition of Ernabari's Market Video, sponsored by the Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, Ecuador maintains reduced tariff rates on shrimp exports to Europe. Then later, we look at figures from the latest WASDE report. But first, China bans poultry from U.S. over avian flu fears. Here with the story is your host, Jamie Chadwick. China's General Administration of Quality Supervision, Inspection and Quarantine announced a sweeping ban of U.S. poultry, eggs and poultry products over finding of high path avian influenza in Washington and Oregon. Avian flu has not been detected in any U.S. commercial flock, but the recent discovery of a highly contagious strain of avian flu in two backyard flocks is affecting commercial farmers all the same. The European Union and nations including South Korea and South Africa have also banned all U.S. poultry eggs and other poultry products in response to the avian flu outbreaks in the Northwest. Others including Canada have placed specific trade restrictions on the two affected states. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Next up, Ecuador maintains reduced tariff rates on shrimp exports to Europe. Here with that story is SeafoodNews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing. As of January 1st, Ecuadorian shrimp exporters continue to ship their shrimp to the European Union, their top market, under a reduced 3.6% tariff through the year 2016. Ecuador was again included in a special trade agreement known as the Generalized System of Preferences, a program designed to help developing nations increase their exports to major markets. The EU decided in, Dece in December to keep Ecuador in the program for the next two years. This is good news for Ecuador shrimp exporters, who are the chief shrimp suppliers to the EU market. As of November, Ecuador shrimp exports to the EU are up 13 percent compared to 2013 levels, accounting for over 35 percent of the market share for Ecuador's shrimp shrimps to global markets. Get more analysis on Ecuador's shrimp exports along with more market news and commentary from the Global Complex using the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Michael. To finish up today's video, here's account manager Nicole Bessemer with the latest figures from the WASD report. In the latest monthly world supply and demand estimates report mon released on Monday, the USDA upwardly revised its forecast for 2015 beef and pork production from the previous month. The pork production forecast was raised by 1.2% due to larger supplies expected. Beef production is projected to be up 0.7% reportedly due to heavier cattle carcass weights. Finally, the 2015 broiler and turkey output was unchanged from a month ago. For the complete analysis, subscribers should check on Newswires on Comtel. Thanks, Nicole. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.